What up, folks? It's your boy PJ bringing you a war recap video. We just finished up our war against I. Gerari. I don't know how to say that. I think it's Italian. Anyway, it was a close war. We beat them by four points. Um, there goes my 94% two star. I'm really on a roll with those. I think it's two, uh, three wars in a row, getting a 90, you know, in the 90s two star. Anyway, some great attacks. Here goes Bao against the enemy number four. Um, Town Hall 10 attack here. Bao is bringing a, uh, a Laloon. He's got a couple golems um, to get in there. He's trying to get um, uh, get an air defense, get the enemy archer queen, uh, and, and, a, uh, and an inferno tower if possible. So um, this base kind of has a natural funnel action going on. So... He's got his golems going in and jump spell um, to get him closer into the core. His hero's backing him up. Um, there goes the Barbarian King on the first air defense. Archer Queen taking out the um, enemy clan castle uh, dragon with the help of a rage. And uh, now I, the, I can't remember if the Archer Queen gets on one of those uh, Inferno Towers. Yeah, she's locked onto it and takes it out. Here goes the... Laloon portion. He's got his first hound coming all the way from the bottom. Second hound uh, coming in. Uh, you'll notice those hounds picked up um, between the two of them picked up three uh, seeking mines. So they did exactly what they were supposed to do. Soaked up all that damage. Two rage spells got him going. Um, got him going real quick onto the last remaining air defenses. And uh, Bao didn't even have to use his freeze which uh, I think he's going to show off here in a second and drop it right in the middle. Good job. And uh, nothing but clean up left. A bunch of pups. Tons of tons of loons. Uh, fantastic job. Next up, we've got uh, Ahmad versus the enemy number five. Uh, Ahmad's uh, fairly new to the clan. First time on the video. He brings a sweet attack right here. Just a very, very nice surgical uh, you'll see he, he, he saves a couple of hogs uh, until the very end. This is a cleanup attack too, so you'll see he took out one of those um, one of those easy to trigger giant bomb sets. Um, and uh, now he's taking out the enemy clan castle. Uh, doesn't bring a jump, just brings four heals. Um, very you know very good uh, understanding of the uh, where the queen's gonna go. He um, he knew that there was she was gonna have to jump that wall in order to target the golem, and so that when his uh, when his barbarian king goes uh, into that first level, uh, he'll be able to get access to the queen. And uh, he's doing just that. He's locked onto the queen. Ahmad's got his uh, hogs taking out that whole first layer of defenses, and is starting to drop his heals. He still has four hogs in the bag, and you'll see down here on the bottom left that air sweeper. He sends two hogs there, um, and uh, he's going to wait for just a bit, and uh, now that the hogs are starting to converge over there on the bottom right, he's got his last couple hogs there on that last air sweeper, and they're all going to come together uh, there in the left, the, the bottom part of the base. Uh, Archer Queen's still up. Uh, he still has most of his kill squad. You know, he's got both witches up, and uh, it's nothing but cleanup at this point. Tons of hogs, tons of cleanup troops. Uh, Giant Bomb just took out his witches, but no no big deal. Uh, this battle is over. Awesome job. Next up, we've got Garrett versus the enemy 11. Garrett is um, bringing a cold-blooded Laloon attack. Um... A little little bit of a twist here. He's uh, only bringing three hounds, one one golem, and only three hounds, and uh, four extra loons. He's got um, he's got twenty loons, I think, and a couple um, uh, couple minions. So, uh, and I think the reason that he did that is because these are not upgraded uh, air defenses. And I know when I face these, and I and I just you know just do the traditional cold blooded laloon attack. Um, sometimes I don't get the last, uh, hound to bust. Sometimes two don't bust. So, um, so, you know, so Garrett's just bringing three hounds. Um, the air defenses are very easy to get to. Uh, so he knew they weren't going to be taking much damage. Uh, and it works out perfect. You can see the, um, 
you know, the, the loons are going straight to the air defense uh, on those first two. I think the, you know, this bottom one, they'll have to get through the cannon first and then go to the air defense. Um, but just, you know, really, really great read on the base. Uh, he knew exactly what was needed uh, to take everything out. Um, and uh, he's already cleared all the air defenses, just a few remaining buildings. Uh, those, those loons there are trying to deal with the air sweeper, but his archer queen just helped him out. Uh, and even now, he only had three hounds, but one of them still didn't bust. Fortunately, he's got both heroes up, and he did bring those couple minions, help a little bit with the cleanup. He had a nice spread on his uh, loons. All in all, fantastic attack. Good job. Next, NATO versus number 12. NATO's coming with a Govalo attack. Uh, I'm showing this one. I, I didn't check with NATO. I think that this did not go exactly according to his plan, um, but I thought it was fantastic the way that he improvised. Um, I think he made some slight adjustments with his Barbarian King deployment and his spell um, his spell placement. Uh, so he's got a couple loons there. He was, uh, in my opinion, hoping to get the Clan Castle lore. Didn't get it. That's okay. He's going to go forward with his attack anyway. Um, so he's got his golems coming in. He's got Wiz to back him up. That cannon, uh, that cannon there in the corner. I'm not sure if NATO was planning that his uh, loons would drift over and take out that cannon or not, but um, it's still up. Uh, so he's he's coming in there in the middle. He's going to drop a jump. He's got witches, golems, plenty of wizards. Uh, I think two or three, and and now he puts his barbarian king over here on the left side. Uh, and it's going to come in and take out that one trash building, take out that cannon, and you'll see if he hadn't have done that, his Valks would not have gone into the middle. You see, they take they take a pause to go toward the cannon, and now they go straight in. Um, now, the they they don't go into the core, which I think he was hoping. They, they wrap around that exterior moat. Fortunately, um, NATO has those witches, and their skeletons are starting to go work their way into the middle. And NATO's going to take advantage of that by dropping his rages there in the middle to assist the um, skeletons and witches. And he's got a couple wizards in there also uh, assist with them um, getting to those air defenses. So there goes the rage. Uh, now he's he already has loons making their way in. Uh, two loon, loons there on the top right side. Now the rest of his loons coming over on the left. Uh, the Valks are all still up. They cleaned out that whole interior moat. Uh, they didn't contribute to taking out the air defenses, but that's okay. Bottom line is, he has so many troops there at the at at, at the end. It, you know, it doesn't matter. Um, he did did a great job adjusting to what was going on in the middle of the battle. He had that. He even had an extra ra rage. Didn't use his poison. Um, just fantastic job. Way to roll with it, NATO. Next, uh, Maximus is taking on. Let's see here. I think. Uh, was it 18? Yeah, 18. Um, Maximus is, uh, this is a cleanup attack. And, you know, I want to show this. I, I could have just made it into a short little cleanup video, but the bottom line is he knew where the bombs are. Uh, he sent in a couple, you know, first a barbarian uh, to trigger the outside bomb, and then uh, two or three hogs to go in there and take out that mortar. He put them on other either side of the mortar so that when the mortar went down, they'd split. They did exactly that. Uh, took out those two giant bombs on the interior, and now it's just uh, just sur surgical time. Uh, he's got his hogs moving their way there into the core. Um, you know, sending in the rest of them, surgical style there on the top, uh, and dropping heals where necessary. He's got some skeletons following, and he's going to use a poison here in a second to take them out. Great job. Puts it right, uh, you know, right on two, in between two um, defensive buildings. He knows his hogs are going to pause there, uh, and uh, the skeletons will get taken out. So there goes his last heal, uh, sprinkling his wizards around that top area opposite side of where his hogs are finishing up and uh there it goes king at full health uh tons of troops still up fabulous good job maximus last i want to talk about uh, a little issue we had in the clan we've we found one of our members queen et who's been with the clan for a while 
Um, I think she's from Indonesia, and uh, I I don't know I don't know how she got it into her head, uh, but she she downloaded or or did whatever it takes to uh, mod the game, and we noticed her. This is not a cleanup attack, and uh, you'll see right here she deploys. Uh, troops in the exact right location to detonate these uh, these bombs. And when we saw that she was doing that, um, you know, we asked her what was up. She said she had just, uh, you know, discovered this program that would let her see the traps in the game, and she thought she'd give it a try. Uh, we told her that that was, um, you know, just completely outside of anything that we could allow at the clan, and uh, and 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 she left. Anyway, she was a good member, and, uh, you know, I hope she picks up somewhere. Um, unfortunately, uh, she gave it a try, and we're 100% fair play clan, and uh, so she had to leave. Anyway, I'll show the rest of her attack, since this is the last time uh, you'll see her on the videos. And there it goes. Three-star Queen E.T. Can't say good job. Uh, horrible base, though. Don't ever put your giant bombs on the outside like that. Anyway, hope you liked the video, and... Uh, I'll see you next time with another War Recap. Peace.